Hey, cousin, wanna hear a joke? My ex still misses me, but his aim is getting better. It's a well-known fact that despite my love for it, I've never actually played Animal Crossing, so I can only assume that these memes are 100% accurate and true. I think Tom Nook should be nicer to his ex-husband, even if his puns are bad. Greetings from the far side of the galaxy, blah blah blah, you know how it goes. This week's video was supposed to be about a comic named Black Sad, but stuff got in the way, so here, have more memes. Build a bottom. Choose me. Name me. Take me home. Stuff me. You know, you didn't have to change the name. You could have easily just called this Build a Bear and still be right. Six one bottoms. Five ten tops. Hey there, cutie. I actually want to point out a slight mistake in the meme. The bottom isn't actually 5'10", he's clearly 5'11". Cyberbully, your mom gay. Gen Z, which mom? Instead of dubbing over the next part, I'm just gonna play the clip. And modern problems require modern solutions. Little known fact, after intense research and planning, I've discovered that this also works if they say, your dad gay. Hey, so um, would you mind if I called you daddy? Of Course not, that sounds hot. Christ, whatever, just don't think about it. OMG, you know I'd be even hotter wearing these. Oh, dude, I can't see anything. It's fine. Just put on your orthopedics. Like, what? Now to have you watch cable news and occasionally clear your throat super fucking loud. Th th that's great, sport. I'm gonna do on a real quick milk run, okay? Wow, the bear already knows his lines. How convenient. Good night, homo, homie. Yeah, same thing. Friendship at its finest. Some say it's wrong to call your homie a homo. I say it's wrong to say goodnight to your homie without a kiss. Um, my eyes are up here. Hush, I'm looking directly at your big heart. Damn, that dog must have really good eyesight because there's two very big things getting in the way of that. There are two wolves inside you. One is depression and the other is gay. Personally, I think those two wolves should kiss. And since I did that other meme, I might as well throw this one in here right now. Inside you are two wolves. One is cute, the other is hot. You are one lucky bastard. And there. And now I can write off the mandatory showing for Beastars and Brand New Animal for this video. Why are people freaking out because of a lesbian couple in Finding Dory? No one cared when a girl fell in love with a bee. They didn't mention who, so I can only assume Dory is a lesbian. In which case, good for her. Moving on to more important topics, society moved way too fast past the fact that a woman got together with a bee in that movie. I kinda wanna call it like Zoophilia or something, but that's a bee, so it's definitely not actually Zoophilia. Granted, the bee could also like walk and talk and all that stuff, so like is it even Zoophilia at that point? Granted, granted, I'm definitely putting more thought into this than the creators of the movie did, so I'm just gonna stop here. I'm heading home, don't stay too late. My fellow Americans, I think we all know where this is going, so let's just skip to the end. You gotta love it when you can play a clip instead of doing voiceover. That being said, I really do hope this ends the same way as the little clip does. I know the punchline is sex, but the idea of this hookup ending in an explosion is just much, much funnier. Flag of the British Empire collapsing. This is what JK Rowling sees in our nightmares. And if God be willing, JK Rowling's nightmares may come true. I want that twink obliterated! This is how the movie went, right? Crunk. By whom though? I might have a classic hunk buddy type, but I'm not exactly a top. I have a couple of exes I could call that might be his type. You want someone who would take him out to dinner first or just... Yzma, I want you to kill him! Lamau, he would totally say this. It's so obvious I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but feel free to tell me how awesome my voice acting is in the comments as you like and subscribe. Anyways, now that we've established the fact that Kronk is a bottom, the question is, what kind of bottom is he? Is he a power bottom? Is he a submissive bottom? Does he also receive while he's on bottom, or does he only take? Questions we'll never get answers to. So why do you want to go with me today, love? Valentine's Day was yesterday. Because of this. There he is, love of my life. Yum, yum, yum. I've been following Duncan and Eddie for a long time, and I've got to say, it has consistently been one of my favorite comics, point blank. Like, to the point where I'm including a link to it in the description, alongside the other comics I've covered. 
It's just so nice to have something that's so unapologetically wholesome. There's no such thing as straight people, Mario. Wow, Bowser, so true. Also, I considered doing a Jack Black impression for this, but I decided ahead of time that that wasn't going to go very well, so just thank me later. Make everything gay. Of course, sir, right away your egginess. Glory be to the Eggman Empire. Though real talk, as I was looking up like gay memes for this video, I realized that like so, so, so many of them are Sonic related, like a genuinely staggering amount. This one says, stop hating yourself, you're being homophobic. This one says, we buy, we buy, cause if I buy and you buy, then we buy. This one says, proud to be a member of the LGTV community. This one just says, happy birthday gay people, which is like barely even a meme. And you know what? There's still more. This one says, I'm not calling you a good girl, Tangle. You almost died. Based on lesbians, by the way. And this one says, OMG, I'm so glad her transition went well. And this one says, my fucking God, these bitches gay. Good for them. Good for them. And this one says, of course you have blue hair and pronouns. And, and you know what? There's still more, but I'll just spare you the point of showing them all. Of all the things for the Sonic community to have a monopoly on, I didn't think it would be gay memes. Hmm. Click. 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 Bro, it really doesn't need to go in that far. It does, Milo. Don't listen to him. I need to find me a freak who can do that. You may have lost your virginity in high school, but I lost my gender identity. Seriously though, what is my gender? Unironically, I only noticed that little line of black text in the bottom right because I was wearing my glasses as I was editing this. I genuinely had no idea and had to re-record it. As it turns out, Furby is a non-binary icon. How do I know if my Furby is a boy or girl? Furbies are similar to angels. They are not divided into male or female. They embody the best of both. Some people theorize that you can answer this question by the pitch of the voice, but we like A the Angel Theory more. I have three things to say about this one. You're non-biny? You don't have any biny? That's so poggers. Two, what the fuck is that typo? Like A the Angel. That took me like three takes just to get right. And three, I did not expect to get theology lessons from a Furby video, but I guess angels are genderless? Need to know, I guess. Obsessed with how the gangs all pose in this scene, not gonna lie. A group of queer friends at one of their shitty apartments pausing the board game they were playing to have an impromptu group therapy session. Something something mystery machine polycule, something something 80s, something something free love. And that's where I'm gonna end this video for today. I'm sorry, I know it's kind of short and kind of slapdash, but this is just taking place of the Black Side video that I couldn't get out in time. And then I really have to get to working on that next Furry Animes video, because I want to get it out by like December 5th, because that's when Beastars season like 3 or whatever drops, and I really want to get it done by then. And by the way, Patreon shoutouts. For 3 stars, we have special thanks to Chodron, SkyKing64, Eddie Sanwero, Garen LeFay, Zora Chow, Venomous, Rylaboon378, and Jay Stassi. For four stars, we have Mickey Moon, McCoides, and Otterly Aw, the Peace from Shadows. And for our Super D Tooper special five star shoutouts, we have First, the Good Old Days, the Master, followed by Hodari Lion, the Holy Newborn. Thank you for watching. Do be sure to like and subscribe. As always, this is your host Fury signing out.